10% of the time I listen to classical music. I'm at a cafe right now. I'm really scared because I'm in a public place and filming. Anyway. I have a bunch of questions. I'm going to go through them. My name is Emma and I'm the founder of the Sea Strings. Where did you get the name from? S-E-A are the first names of my sisters. My sister's name is Sarah. I'm Emma. My other sister's Amy. Originally it was to promote us playing at wedding gigs and to get more wedding gigs. Where are you from? Sydney, Australia. I've just finished a Pilates class and I got myself another coffee and I also got blueberries. This place is way busier. How did I get into playing violin? My sister is two years older than me and she plays, so I think I was inspired by her to pick it up. At what age did you start learning? I started learning when I was, I think, six or five, and I've been playing for 15 years, which makes me 22. Who was your first violin teacher and what did you learn from them? I started off with Suzuki, then transferred. My teacher is called Peter Zhang, learned the Zhang method, and then ABB. People are sitting next to me now. Yeah. Okay, who gives a fuck? This is part of my doing hard things. Ugh. What's one thing people don't know about you? One thing people don't know about me is that I don't actually listen to a lot of classical music. I think 10% of the time I listen to classical music. I actually do listen to a lot of music whenever I'm in the shower, slash getting ready. I listen to a lot of jazz music, chill jazz music. I just type that in YouTube. And then when I was growing up, even when I learned, because I've stopped learning violin now, I listened to mainstream pop music, Ariana Grande, Justin Bieber, those types. How would you describe yourself in three words? Yeah, I'm curious and I always want to learn and do better. I want to be a better person and get outside of my comfort zone, which means I maybe have a, a growth mindset and I guess I am thoughtful. I don't really say much when I'm with people. Let's move on. How often did you practice? Definitely every day. Two hours at least every day, even when I had school. How do you stay motivated? My mom would nag me at every second of the day if I hadn't already. When it was silent during my practice, she would always be like, Emma, what are you doing? When I got older, it was more like a routine kind of thing. As in, I would brush my teeth every day. I would just practice every day. Did you have any musical influences growing up? I think my sister was probably the biggest musical influence. She also played violin, but I did also really like Hilary Hahn. As cliche as it is. Do you play violin as a full-time job? Sash, where do you see yourself? Well, a lot of you do know me as the violin social media person, but I didn't even study it in uni. I just graduated, by the way. I teach here and there, and I obviously do my Instagrams here and there, but Instagram doesn't pay in Australia, and the classical music niche is a bit hard to get brand sponsorships, so I'm basically doing it for fun right now. I do have an internship. I did Bachelors of Commerce, but I don't want to do it in the future. I like creating things and doing difficult things. And I think a nine to five job is too routine and not for me at the moment. What is the most challenging piece you have played? Well, in Australia, we have something called HSC, which are year 12 exams to get into uni. And I would say those pieces were pretty hard for me. And actually come to think of it, they're not super hard, right? Because you have to be able to play them under lots of pressure. I played Vinyovsky Concert, Violin Concerto. Da, 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 da. And you also played Is I Obsession. Ba, da, 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 and I played Chrysler. Um, what the fuck is it called? Chrysler Recitativo and Scherzo. But I would say maybe one of the hardest pieces I've done are like the Vinyovsky studies or one of the Paganini caprices. Do you prefer solo performances or playing in an ensemble? Playing in on an ensemble because I do not like being the center of attention. I freeze up and I don't know what to do with my body. The violin feels so foreign when I do solo. How do you deal with stage fright or performance anxiety? Well, I used to have to do a lot of solo performances. Every time I'd get so fucking nervous. Sometimes I'd do this thing where on a piece of paper I'd write down all the words that I want to feel. For example, calm or if the emotion of the piece was happy, I'd write happy. 
before the concert I'd look at them and that helps otherwise I would just have to be 110% prepared so that when I actually play I'm 100% prepared my performance anxiety never went away well the people I was performing to they were always much better than me and I felt they were judging me so I did something called Rising Stars which is a program for gifted and talented people and you have to perform once every few weeks or so <laughs> favorite violinists or musicians to listen to like i said i really liked hillary hahn's reels where she practices every day and films it how did you maintain your focus and discipline during long practice sessions i'd be lying if i said i gave my practice a hundred percent focus a lot of the time i had extra homework to do or i'd scroll through my phone but then it was only because of my mom shouting at me when it was silent that i practiced. When I was more disciplined I would do 50 minutes of practice and or whenever I felt tired I'd go out and eat something. What do you do when you're not playing the violin? Exercise as in bouldering or running. I like trying new things. Favorite place you visited? I went to New York last year and I went to Japan and Korea the year before. I really like Japan. Although I don't know if it's my favorite place to visit, I don't know. What advice would you give to young violinists starting out? If you don't enjoy playing it, why are you doing it? You're gonna just hate your life. Because if you wanna get good, you're gonna have to practice. Do you have any tips for beginners learning the violin? I would say know why you're playing it. What do you wanna get out of it? Do you wanna get good at it? Do you just wanna do it for fun? Do you wanna do it to play in an orchestra and make new friends? If you know why you're doing it, you can curate your practice sessions to get that goal and you'll feel much more fulfilled. How has playing the violin shaped who you are as a person? It's made me believe that with consistency I'm able to learn anything. I'm only really good at it because I put in the hours and I can translate that into other things that I want in my life as well. Weird fact is that I don't love, 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 love playing it. Otherwise I would become a full-time musician. I think that's all I'm going to answer today. Bye. Subscribe to the C-Strings.